This is Jamie Rodemeyer, just 14 years old, a freshman at Williamsville North High School in Buffalo, New York. Jamie routinely blogged about his troubles. Just 11 days ago, he wrote something online. He said, I always say how bullied I am, but no one listens. What do I have to do so people will listen? One week later, this past Sunday, Jamie committed suicide. This month alone, there have been a shocking number of news stories about teens who have been teased and bullied and then committed suicide. Students at a local school are grieving a classmate tonight. Friends say the young man took his own life because he couldn't take any more bullying. It's a nationwide problem that Elaine Quijano tells us was painfully highlighted this week by the suicide of a high school freshman from Buffalo. Tyler was a bright student at Rutgers University whose life was senselessly cut short. The bullying happens every day in school and online. Sometimes we don't know about it. Sometimes we just hear stories about it. And sometimes it is even caught on tape. We've got to dispel this myth that bullying is just a normal rite of passage. That it's some inevitable part of growing up. It's not. This needs to be a wake-up call to everyone that teenage bullying and teasing is an epidemic in this country and the death rate is climbing. If one bully gets this message and says, thinks about it and says, I'm not going to make another child feel that way, she did it. He was a nice little boy. He loved to dance. He loved to like, have fun. He loved to make friends. But all he made, they were enemies. Friends and family say bullies at school targeted Jaheim because he was from somewhere else and spoke with an accent. It hurts me so. I think my son felt like he was not worthy. How many other teens have we lost? How many others are suffering in silence? Tonight we want to say and say out loud, the bullying stops here. There are people out there who love you and care about you just the way you are. Everything that you get picked on or you feel makes you weird is, is essentially what's going to make you sexy as an adult. And I want anyone out there who feels different and alone to know that I know how you feel. I think being more heroic means trusting yourself and knowing in your heart that you know what's right for you. At the end of the day, like, we are here just to spread love. Mm -hmm. We are here to empower and inspire people. And that in itself is much bigger than any challenge that could ever present itself. I think people are heroes every day, but I love that it's be more heroic because we can always be doing a little bit better. If you ever feel like you are under attack, just think of everyone who is on your side. Your pride is not dependent on what names strangers call you. Step in stride with this movement and fly with me. Look at how high we can be on love. We can tie your capes on and walk into the sun. It may burn at first, but I know we can make it if we stand as one. Things will get easier. People's minds will change. And you should, you should be alive to see it. <laughs>